Hi, this is Digital Cleaner with a quick video tutorial on using the Skyrim interface to manage your mods. And uh, I actually get this question a lot. Like uh, people will say, uh, you know, I downloaded a mod and it's not installed. What is going on? So let me show you what's probably happening. There's several things that could be happening here. Um, but first we need to talk about the difference between Skyrim and the special edition. Skyrim, this one, this is the old version that completely was hosted on Steam. All the mods in the workshop are hosted on Steam. And then after the paid mods debacle, uh, Bethesda pulled things back to their own website. I don't really want to go into that whole thing. Let's just say Steam is a digital storefront, not unlike Amazon. And they represent many different customers who want to you know advertise and market and have sales and you know use all of those uh special bonuses that steam has that way better than amazon could ever offer any of their customers i mean it's just we have the community we have friends that we can you know it's almost like the facebook of games too there's so much involved gabe newell is my hero let's just put it that way but back to the whole thing i don't know why i went off on that tangent um so that being said that the old version is on here, there's different ways that these are managed. So I already have a video up on how to manage your uh, mods uh, and it's in game. When you go into game, there's a whole menu for that. But for the old version, you just hit play and this splash screen comes up. A lot of people forget this is important right here. You see this? See how it's updating all my mods? Five of 43, six of 43. It's, you have to let this happen right here. So if you hit subscribe and you don't wait, sit and let this happen right here, your mod is not going to get installed. So if you're downloading, say, a mod like the size of Castle Volkahar Redux, that's like 40 megabytes, dude. That's It's a big mod. It's like twenty over 20 mods in one. I really should have probably separated it out, but I wanted to just... I kept trying new things. And really, the mod was for me. And it was for me to learn the creation kit. And I had a blast doing it. I also had a lot of headaches doing this. The creation kit is not intuitive. It was very tough. There's very limited information out there when I was making this mod. But I kept adding and adding to it to learn. Oh, there it goes. It says, finish synchronizing. Now we're safe to play the game. But before we do that, the whole purpose of this video is to look at how to manage your mods with this interface and this is it this is your tool um first off uh, i should mention all your esms or master files these are the digital dlc straight from bethesda they are part of the game they that's a whole different thing you want to have them at the top and somewhere i read years ago i remember you should have it in this order in the order that they came out uh but you know i don't think it really matters but just make sure your ESMs are at the top. Um, this is important. The load order is very important. So if you look down here at the bottom, um, I have mine at the bottom because I want it to trump everything else in my load list. So uh, if there's anything in another mod that does something that my mod does and mine's at the bottom, mine will beat its script out or its uh whatever it's doing and a lot of times that'll fix your problems if you have a problem when you have two mods installed just changing the load list can a lot of times fix it but you got to know which mod it is uh, you know which mods are conflicting finding that is like a needle in a haystack sometimes especially when you got this many mods so you know i have another one okay so in my mod i have a hood that blocks daylight for vampires now, it's not a normal enchant um, that you can duplicate in the game. You can't learn it in the game. There's only one of a kind because it's a switch. It's not a script. It's kind of a weird thing. Um, so if there's another mod, I have another mod in here somewhere that is just the Robes of Molag Ball. And whoops, oh, there's a mod I haven't released yet. I shouldn't even be showing you all this. Okay, um, shoot, where is it? Anyway, there is another one I have that's got a just the rope. Some people don't want the castle. They just wanted the armor and the weapons for my mod. So I have that out on, on the, uh, both Bethesda and the Steam Workshop. But uh, if I want the, the hood to work in my Castle Volkar mod, I move it to the bottom. If I put those, let's say this one was the one that was my mod, 
and I wanted that hood to work and not the one in Castle Volcahar, then I would move that below. So that's basically how that works. So, you know, if you have something that you want to trump all the other ones or beat it out, you have to move it down like this. It's kind of a pain. Look, we're going to catch up with it. See where it is. Just keep clicking down until it's down there. And this is how you move your mods around. You can't drag and drop. No, no drag and drop functionality, unfortunately. And that's how you do it. Anyway, um, also worth noting, as you see how I have these mods unchecked, um, some of these I ne I don't use anymore, um, or I only use the Halloween one now and again, like when it's Halloween. Um, you don't want to delete mods. It sucks that you have to keep them on your hard drive, um, but if you make a save with these mods in it, in your, if you, you know, and uh, you delete it, the save will be looking for the assets in these mods, and that can break your save. That can break your game, and this is where the problem comes in. This is mostly on the older version. I think the special edition I read somewhere they kind of fixed that snapshot save a little bit, so this isn't much of an issue. Um, but you still should, you know, for safety, keep mods and just uncheck them. This is how you stop them from being used in your game but keep the assets available and that's pretty much everything you need to know that i know about using this interface for the old version of skyrim if you have any questions please put them in the comments i'll be happy to answer them when i have time um thanks for watching don't forget to hit subscribe and like and i'll be putting out more videos soon i hope see you later